Would you say the economic crisis caused by the pandemic is over? No, I would not. Okay. How long do you think it'll take before we know? Uh, I think, well, well, before we know, I think we'll know a lot uh, in the next uh, four to six months about vaccines. But the, the real issue, though, is what are going to be the effects of people who whose jobs may have changed or gone away. It's really the, the new, the post-pandemic economy is going to be different. And we're going to learn a lot about that in the second half of next year. And I, I think those people are going to need help, some of them. And I think that's, Chair Powell, a very fair answer. Um, we can't know unless we have a crystal ball exactly how the recovery from this is going to proceed. Now, Secretary Mnuchin, who's also here with us today, he apparently disagrees with you. In fact, Secretary Mnuchin is so certain that the economic crisis is over that he wants to ban the Fed from using any more of the $500 billion that Congress set aside in the CARES Act to help the economy. Two weeks ago, he wrote to you to request that you return the remaining $455 billion because our economy, in his opinion, simply doesn't need it anymore. In response, you, Chair Powell, said that the outlook for the economy is extraordinarily uncertain. The Federal Reserve would prefer that the full suite of emergency facilities established during the pandemic continue to serve their important role as a backstop for our still strained and vulnerable economy. Needless to say, it's highly concerning that, two, that the two people tasked with stabilizing our economy do not agree on whether the markets are stable. But it actually doesn't matter what either of you two think because Secretary Mnuchin simply doesn't have the authority to recall the $455 billion. I'm reading aloud now from Section 4027 of the CARES Act. On or after January 1, 2026, any funds that are remaining shall be transferred to the general fund. In other words, set, set back to the Treasury. Secretary Mnuchin, is it currently the year 2026, yes or no? First, let me comment. I do believe there's an economic Secretary emergency. Mnuchin, You're time. putting words in my mouth that are not correct. Second of all, okay, uh, the time. answer is that 4027. The time belongs to the gentle lady. Reclaiming my time, Mr. Mnuchin, would you start by asking, answering my first question, and I will ask you others. Is today 20, the year 2026, yes or no? Of course it's not 2026. How ridiculous to ask me that question or waste our time. Well, Secretary Mnuchin, I think it's ridiculous that you're play acting to be a lawyer when you have no legal well, degree. Actually, I have plenty of lawyers at the Department of Treasury who advise me. So uh, I'm Mnuchin, more than happy to I'm more than happy to follow up with Chair Waters and explain all the legal provisions and the ranking member. So Secretary more than Mnuchin, happy to make that access. Secretary Mnuchin, are you in fact a lawyer? Uh, I do not have a legal degree. I have lawyers that report to me. Thank you. Um, Chair Powell, are you, in fact, a lawyer? I am uh, a former lawyer, a recovering lawyer. You have a legal degree, correct? Yes, I do. Okay. So, Secretary Mnuchin, you're trying to tell Chairman Powell to send over any remaining funds right now and you're claiming falsely, in my opinion, that that is what the law says. And you've gotten into disagreement with someone who's actually a lawyer. And Are you a lawyer? You've to Congress, which actually wrote the law about what it says. So let's go okay, through. Actually, I wrote the law, law with Congress says. for what it's worth. And by the way, it's not 450 billion he's returning. I think it's approximately 175 billion. Reclaiming my time, there was no question there. Um, Secretary Mnuchin, the CARES Act already says in exhibit four, in, um, in section 4027, it says that you have to stop making any new investments, new investments in Fed lending program year end. It doesn't say that the Fed programs must stop making loans or purchases. You are making a decision that does not align with the statute or congressional intent. 